There we go. There we go. Okay. Good so, morning, Eric. Good morning. <laughs> nice to see you again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's about like six months ago, I think, that we met in uh, Bremen at the cargo bike race. It was in May. Yeah. No, I, it was in Jul July. 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 Like so not, yeah. Not not a half half a year, but. Almost. Close to it, almost. Yeah, almost. It was warmer, but not much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, no, it's not a big difference. Yeah. And it was also more or less rainy. Yeah. Same thing as yeah, today. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Okay, so now we are here. Um, so you, now we are in Antwerp. So in Antwerp. you come to visit uh, Itai. Itai, yeah. And we took the opportunity to meet. And yeah. you said, well, I'll bring you something, uh, something special, something new. Yeah. Uh, let's make a movie about it. So uh, we're looking at your new project, a shorty, yeah. bullet shorty, with uh, opinion. No, oh, no, with, with a, a roll off. With a roll off. With a roll off. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, with the, the story behind it is um, I got the frame for uh -huh. free. Uh -huh. It was a. Uh, um, they did something wrong in the um, factory by welding it. It okay. was a bit out of the middle. Uh -huh. So um, a customer gave it back and they returned it and. I got the frame for free. I wanted to cut it in half and put it onto a wall uh -huh. at my home. But uh, yeah, I, I called with Norbert once from United Cargo Bike. Uh, I had a call and I asked him just out of interest if he would build a shorty as well. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he said, yeah, why not? But you, you know, you need a frame and everything. And it's quite expensive. And I was like, I have a frame uh -huh. that's not quite straight, but I think it would work for me. So mm -hmm. I will never sell it because it's not 100% straight, but okay. yeah. Um, so uh, I brought him the frame uh -huh. and a few months later, he called me, he finally made it. Um, the guy who welds the frames for him had, uh, I, think if I'm, I think if I'm not wrong, it's the first one they did. So I, I told them they can try on it. Cause yeah, it's, yeah. Um, yeah fail and error. Mm -hmm. and they did a great job, you know. The old uh, um, shorties that existed from another company, they just cut the frame straight through it and uh -huh. put into some extra material to uh -huh. make it stiff. Uh -huh. But um, I don't know the guy who welded it, but he did a great job because he, you see it, it's like a 45 degree angel, yeah. the cut, so it's way more stable. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and so they, they did a quite a good job and of course I did the uh, load areas for it yeah. and everyone who wants a shorty can get the yeah. load areas at Norbert. Yeah. He's the only dealer so far that sells that them. That sells them, yeah. yeah. Because he, yeah, he produces yeah. the, the yeah. shorties. Yeah. Yeah. And you can just call him and get it. Yeah. Um, if I'm not wrong, they, I think they should fit to the um, other shorties that exist as well. Mm -hmm. We use the same diameters, but yeah. I don't know. The same um, stuff. We have to try it. Yeah. When there's someone who wants one. Okay. Um, so. Yeah, that's the story behind it. And yeah, everything else on the bike is like more or less stuff that I, I had around. Yeah. Some parts I ordered, of course, but yeah. uh, many parts like the, the wool of uh, rear mm -hmm. reel is I ordered it or I built it for a customer uh -huh. and then he didn't want to have it anymore. Okay. So yeah, I had it. Yeah. And then one day I thought, okay, that would be the perfect rear hoop for the shorty. Yeah. Um, the engine I bought from a guy in Denmark. Um, uh -huh. So what's the, it's a, it's a Shimano then? Yeah, it's a yeah. Shimano engine. Um, okay. But I don't like the plastic, so I. Uh -huh. uh, you removed it. I removed them. Yeah. Um, it's the E6100. Uh -huh. It's one of the, I think uh, the story behind those frames is that they tested the E6100s in the old E6001, uh, E6000 frames. Uh -huh. That's why you, it's the old frame. But yeah, yeah the, so it's not completely yeah. fitting. Yeah, yeah it's, it don't fit perfectly, but quite good enough. As mm -hmm. you see on your bullet, the, the bolts are on different places. They, yeah. I think it was the first try with the new engine. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and on this side, you see it a bit like here, when you, when you don't use it with a roll-off. Uh -huh. Um, because the wall off got a different chain line. Uh -huh. If you don't use it with the wall off, the uh, chain ring will touch the frame. And ah, that's yeah. why uh, they couldn't sell it anymore. Yeah. The, but only this one special frame. It's a bit out of out middle, of, as I yeah, said. Yeah. But yeah, it's with the chain line bit. of the wall off, uh -huh. it's no problem at all. Uh. You see, that there's a lot of space left. So yeah, it still it's, works. It works, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the bike is not finished yet, I think. No, no. Yeah, you said uh, like the, yeah. you've uh, put like, a, a, um, what, what did you put on the frame? It's some kind of 
painting or? No, no, it's, uh, um, Norbert had to remove the paint and uh -huh. they sandplastered it. Okay. And that's why the surface looks like it looks. Yeah. Um, but I want to send the whole frame. Yeah. And yeah, you, will, you see here, that's the optic you did, or, yeah, I, yeah. I, I want to have on the end. You, I just tried it. You did already yeah. a little yeah. uh, piece of it. But yeah. I'm not, not finished yet. I, I need one more of those things down here. Yeah. And one big advantage of, advantage of not using the plastics is mm -hmm. that I can use the holes for the plastics to ah, yeah, the yeah. cables to, and it yeah. looks quite clean. Yeah. And once these are here, yeah. it looks and it's, better. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so it's for a bike with a roll-off. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess it will be a quite clean looking bike at the end. Yeah. Um, so yeah, also here it's still mounted with a cable tie. Yeah. Because still, uh, yeah. I have to try a bit around. Yeah, and you have to also had to do something here yeah, with your yeah, mudguard. Same. Yeah, same here. It's, the mudguard does does not fit perfectly, so I had yeah. to put it on the different on the other side, and I had to. Yeah. It just yeah, it's built it pretty pretty quick. Yeah. And it's not ready yet. No. But. It will also the, the the lock for the battery. Uh -huh. I, I stole it from the bullet of my father because I, <laughs> I didn't okay. have one. Yeah. yeah. But so. but still, uh, I I used yeah. the you used yeah yeah the at clean cockpit again. Yeah, like on the on the on, on the, the white one. On that's the white one. Yeah. So at, at the back of us. Yeah. Why the cockpit looks so nice yeah. and clean, and yeah, I have the carbon steering tube inside. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's it's like. For example, the handlebars I got from a friend. Uh -huh. um, it's the, it's from Beast, and mm -hmm. w it, when the sun is shining, it's blue. Ah, it's so blue. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's blue like the re yeah. rear hoop. Yeah, and yeah, yeah it's like some small details. When yeah. it's, once it's finished, it will be finished. It will be so yeah, so hot. Yeah, it already is. But <laughs> yeah. Yeah. we'll have to make a, a follow-up video. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and okay. some pictures and sun because it really it looks yeah. crazy. Yeah. Maybe I can send you a video. I, yeah. I once made it with flashlight at night. Ah, yeah, and it then uh, so crazy. Yeah. You see it a little bit, yeah, but yeah. I don't know if we can yeah. capture it now. Um, okay. Yeah, of course, uh, all the products made yeah. by me uh, with like the Visco set. The Visco set yeah. is on there also. Yeah. And uh, you al also put like a titanium yeah, yeah. steering rod on it, well, it I said. Yeah, I, I needed a steering rod because uh -huh. um, I didn't have one. Okay. And um, yeah, Itai still had some. Titanium steering arms left. Yeah. Um, I think you still have two ones left. So if someone needs one, no? No, it's finished now. Okay. Only if the two ones arrive at my place. So I can tell you next week if you got two ones left, then <laughs> you can find me sell them. Um, yeah, it's the titanium steering arm. Yeah. Um, some last of its kind. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's quite a. Crazy build, yeah. Made out of not trash, but made yeah. out of parts. I a had. lot of stuff that yeah. you had laying yeah. around, and of course a, a lot of help from Norbert from yeah. Bullet Bike. He gave me the kickstand and yeah. the fork and stuff like this. So yeah, yeah he's quite a cool yeah. guy still. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, here's the the normal the the Velu bags uh -huh. plate, but I didn't put any foil on them, and okay. I also removed the paint uh -huh. down to the aluminium. Yeah. Because uh, I, I really wanted to have a war-looking bike, yeah. all in all. But uh, there's still um, we think to maybe paint it when once it's um, sanded uh -huh. to paint the whole bike. But it's yeah. I'm not 100% sure. sure. So yeah. if anyone has any great idea, yeah, so they can uh, yeah. put that in the comments yeah, of the yeah. video if they have suggestions for a paint yeah. job. And if someone wants to paint it, yeah, and I like his work. I could imagine <laughs> yeah. to bring it somewhere, but yeah, we will see. Yeah, um, yeah. I think it's a it's it's a difficult decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in what style and and how you should paint yeah. it. And once it's done, once it's done, it's quite a lot of work to undone it again. Yeah, yeah. So undo you it have again. to. Um, that's yeah. That's the problem with it. And yeah, of course, I get um, a lot of stuff again from Arcos. Yeah, uh, like all the bearings, and I also I'm experimenting with the plug lock. You don't see it; it's inside here. Uh -huh. um, it's not completely ready now because mm -hmm. it still touched the steering arm. Uh -huh. But uh, I'm experimenting with the plug lock inside. So in this direction, it plugs already, ah, yeah. so okay. you don't need the heavy screws in the back anymore. And mm -hmm. 
um, maybe one day I will build a lighter version of the um, steering angle uh -huh. down there. So, um, yeah, that's why I'm experimenting with the plug lock. You don't see anything from outside, but there's like a yeah. little, a little uh, yeah, stopping, stopping mechanism, mechanism inside. inside yeah. yeah, and it will work okay. quite nice. Also, the front wheel, um, it's not the, the one that stays inside. Um, uh -huh. There will be a nice blue arc horse hoop inside and a, a nicer rim because this one is just, yeah. it's from the bullet I used to cycle to North Cape, so it's very light, Yeah, not nice. It, yeah, it's yeah, just it's working. Just, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I want to have a nice looking um, wheel in this one. Yeah. Because at first I thought I will build a bike just out of spare parts and I don't care how it looks, mainly it should, but then it got, like always when you build a bike, it went a bit out of hand and yeah, yeah. yeah. Then you it can, got uh, a bit better uh, than expected. Yeah, and that's why. That's I, I guess the most expensive part I ordered for this bike. Was yeah, the, it's the a quite light. large yeah. Uh, light. It's eh? Yeah, unbelievable strong. Yeah. <laughs> it's like daylight in front. Yeah, um, yeah, that's the thing. And yeah. like the little details I did, like put black screws everywhere, uh -huh. not the regular silver ones. Yeah, um, and then I'm also planning to sell like a stainless steel screw set in the shop with um, for the bullet like okay. that people don't have to buy all the screws by their own and yeah, yeah they them. have to look for them yeah, yeah. so and a complete in, in generally set. there will be the plex screws for the kickstand as well ah, yeah. um, because they are specially made um, that it's not a regular screw and yeah, yeah I will just sell a whole set because I guess there are many people that really like the plex screws more than silver yeah, ones they look a bit one. more yeah Nice. Okay. Yeah. So you you didn't decide for a, like a side kickstand, so you... not now. Uh, mm -hmm. But maybe I will try it on the shorty. But yeah, I, I'm. I don't. I don't know. I like how it looks. Uh -huh. But I think in a daily use. Yeah. If you uh, have heavy heavier loads, yeah, then heavier it's, loads it's, or it's less if practical. You, eh? If you just go shopping and put your trings on it, it's yeah, yeah. It's then so it's not. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I. So you really intend to use it yeah. on a daily basis? Hopefully. Yeah. If I, got the if I find the time for it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's the plan. OK. I, okay. I think that's pretty Welcome. much more yeah, or less. Of course, I, I used some screws there from the Vespa, from uh -huh. the gearbox of a Vespa. OK. I found them. They have the same uh, thrill than uh -huh. the uh, Roloff Axel. Uh -huh. They are and and you just you you did that just for aesthetical yeah, aesthetic uh, reasons. reasons. Yeah, the yeah. other ones they are very long and silver and they yeah. don't look very yeah. high quality. And these ones are made from aluminium and yeah. they just uh, I, I got plaque screws for here as well. Yeah. But they didn't arrive now. Um, okay. I ordered a bunch of them. Yeah. Uh, also, the the set will include uh, this one does not have the gate opening, but the ah, yeah. set I will sell will also include the, the screws black, for the yeah the black aluminium screws for there. Yeah. Um, but you can also just buy them. They are mm -hmm. already in the online shop, but you can't order them now because I didn't get them. But okay. they will be in, I so guess in January, they will finally arrive. Be but available. Yeah. I thought they will be available in yeah. August also. So <laughs> 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 it takes time yeah, well, yeah. always. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very nice. I'm looking forward to uh, see see it again when it's uh, finished. Yeah, um, me too. And I'm looking forward inside here. There's no wind. Uh -huh. Because I think it's a windy machine. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's really, really time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's easier than a normal bullet. Yeah, yeah, it's a short and yeah. Uh, the, yeah. yeah, it works. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so now Itai has to build a ramp. Yeah. To and do then backflip. We'll, and then you will come and do a backflip. Okay. Yeah. Okay.
Maybe you can jump with it. <laughs> oh, it's, that's hard. <laughs> but yeah, it's way more uh, agile and uh, yeah. agile than a normal bullet. And I see a lot of screws lying around here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and nails and stuff. <laughs> yeah. I think it's quite a, I want it to have a quite a bomb proof build and I guess it is with, with the Wolof and everything I think it's not possible to destroy it. I, you can just use it forever. Yeah. And that's what I want to do with it. So, yeah. Okay. Well, that was a quick one. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for showing the bike. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you.